Assalamu alaikum everyone uh, I hope you are all doing well and fine so in last class we have discussed in full detail subsidies uh, types of subsidies that the government can use it in why these are the government are supporting the local companies the reasons so we have discussed uh, this issue in full detail uh, now we will discuss about strategic planning uh, strategic planning most of you have uh, studied in strategic management or you will study it in strategic management so it's also strategic management uh, planning is very very important regarding the company because it will show you uh, the external and internal analysis it will help you to find out what's happening outside the company what's happening inside the company your resources uh, regarding your competitors availability of suppliers uh, governments rules regulation culture and there are different aspects uh, of uh, external and internal analysis when you are analyzing the business strategic planning will help you to find out your strength your weakness opportunities and traits uh, outside the companies what are the opportunities for your business what are the traits for your business level of competitions uh, cultural issue market research and there are many other parts that strategic planning will help you in a long term or short term activities it will help you to uh, make a plan in long term or short term purposes so so that's why it's very very important part so the process of evaluating the enterprise environment which is internal and external environment it's an internal strength in then identifying long and short term activities that is strategic planning so multinational enterprise uh, they are really um, rely heavily on take this here rely heavily on this process because it provides them with both general direction and specific guidance in carrying out their activities without a strategic plan these businesses would have great difficulty in planning implementing and evaluating operations so without having a proper strategic plan uh, it's very hard for multinational companies to survive in the market because if you don't know what's happening in the market if you don't know the level of competition if you don't know uh, level of uh, the availability of suppliers if you don't know how many competitors do you have what they are doing what's their plan what's their long-term plan so you don't know about new rules and regulations so if you are not aware of all these aspects of business it's very difficult for you to survive and compete in the market or run your business so it's very difficult for you to even implement your policies implement your new strategies and also uh, others so that's why it's a strategic plan uh, play a very key role planning play a very key role in uh, multinational enterprises because uh, as we have discussed multinational enterprises or MNCs or MNEs are not only operating in one country they are operating in different part of the globe so they are facing different people from different culture background uh, from different religious uh, from different nationalities race ethnicities language they are do, uh, facing different rules and regulations government rules and regulation business rules and regulations employees rules and regulation environmental issues uh, they are facing different organizational culture timing issues language barrier communications and many many other uh, aspects or types of business that they are uh, facing so it's not if they don't if they are not having a proper strategic plan so it will be very very hard for them it will be very very difficult for them uh, to compete or to run the business because uh, if you want to be successful in international market you should know you should have at least update on day-to-day -day basis what's happening on day-to-day -day basis in those countries uh, what is the new rules regulations of the government uh, customer satisfactions uh, customer needs and wants what are their uh, customer what they are willing customer behavior uh, employees training development employees skills technology availability of resources uh, there are many other things that uh, you might have you need to be aware while you are doing a business you should be aware of your competitors 
what they are doing their pricing strategy their sales their promotions their discounts and uh, so you need to be aware of all these uh, competitions what they are doing uh, what's their plan uh, what they are doing in long term what they are planning for short term whatever they are doing so if you don't have this it will you will be facing very great difficulty in planning so what's your plan for next five years for next ten years what's your plan for expansion what's your plan for promotions implementing your plan in evaluating operations so that's why strategic plan uh, planning will help you uh, to identify the sources uh, different environmental issues you need to find out outside organization and it will also help you to find out your internal uh, strength what we mean internal strength is strength and weakness what is your strength and what is your weakness what are the weaknesses of your company and what are the strengths of your company maybe you are having good uh, skill labor m you might have more capital you might have more resources you might have different uh, things so that's why it's very important to understand that and to uh, find out uh, your strength weakness and opportunities and also traits as well so next say uh, you are doing in uh, long term activities so that's the strategic plan will help you this strategic formulation is the process of evaluating an enterprise environment and internal strength so that's when you are formulating the strategy and you are applying that strategy so what we have we are having external environmental assessment uh, the analysis of the external environmental mm, environment involves involves uh, two activities information gathering and information assessment these steps helps to answer two questions what is going on in the external environment and how will these in develops development affect our company so what's happening in the in external environment will that uh, have any impact on your company or not so one of the most common ways to do this is through competitive intelligence which is the use of systematic technique for obtaining and anal analyzing public information about competitors these data are particularly useful in keeping mini alerts to keep to to likely move by the competition so it will help you to uh, other uh, learn as i have discussed on earlier slide it will help you to learn more regarding your competition and you regarding your competitors so it will help you a lot uh, in finding out these competitions and what they are doing uh, about external analysis so about external environment so let's come to the information gathering uh, information gathering is a phase is a critical phase because this is a first stage which you need to find out what is your competition what your competitors are doing that's the first step you need to be very careful if you're uh, if you don't have any information uh, if you don't gather information and if you don't have information regarding your competitors they might take over the market mm, uh, just consider this globally in Afghanistan the problem we many businesses they are having very less competition but if you are in Europe in other countries that uh, companies are having hundreds and thousands of competition competitors so it's very very difficult uh, if you make a single mistake uh, you lose customers they are looking after quality product in lower prices so if you lose customer that's it so what will happen you need to close up your company so that's why it's very very important in other countries to gather information regarding your uh, competition and this information needs to be based on facts and on time so if you uh, collect information uh, later on so it will be very very so if you gather even information after everything has been done then there's no there's no point of getting that so your informations need to be on time and uh, it should help you your company so let's see what is in the slide and i think there might be example as well so information gathering is a critical phase of international strategic planning unfortunately not all firm recognize this early enough in the case of Harley Davidson which is a motorbike company in USA the larger US based motorcycle manufacturer it was not until the Japanese began dominating the motorcycle market that Harley realized its problem a systematic analysis of the competition revealed that the major reason for Japanese success in the US market was the high quality of their products 
a result of extremely efficient manufacturing techniques today Harley, Harley is competitive again so imagine Harley Davidson was the biggest US largest um, motorbike uh, manufacturer so they didn't realize that the Japanese was beginning to dominate the motorcycle market in the United States after that once they have uh, Japanese companies have dominated the uh, global the US market uh, so after long time the Harley company have realized that Japanese are dominating the uh, US market so why they are dominating the US market then they found out that the quality product that the Japanese companies were providing for their customers were excellent they were top quality products so after information gathering the Harley Davidson company came to realize that the Japanese are taking over the market in US so then they come after that they uh, brought some changes in order to compete with the quality product of uh, Japanese companies so later on now again today Harley is competitive again why they are competitive because they have gathered the information regarding their competitors what they are doing uh, quality products you you compare your products your design everything with them your price everything so you need to always you need to have eye on your competition uh, as a businessman or as a business lady always you need to have uh, information regarding the market regarding the rules and regulation regarding the prices regarding the discounts regarding locations regarding expansions and different uh, aspects as well so that's why it's very very important to find out information gathering next one uh, after information gathering is information assessment so having gathered information on competition in the industry you need then evaluate the data so once you have covered once you have collected the data uh, on your competitors uh, once you have gathered the information then the next one is evaluation evaluating the data how it's uh, does that data affects your company is that data is accurate is it based on evidence is it based on facts uh, is it important is it appropriate for our business it's important to look after it or not so this is assessment so you're analyzing that evaluating uh, information which has been gathered one of the most common approaches is to make an overall assessment based on the five forces that determine industry competitiveness so we ha I, I'm sure if you don't if you didn't study strategic management you will study five forces buyers suppliers potential new entrants to the industry the availability of substitute goods and services and also rivalry among the competitors so we'll discuss the five forces so how it is uh, important bargaining power of supplier so if you are operating in a market that you are having more suppliers that's good for your company so if you are having less supplier it's not good for your company because you don't have options so if you are having more suppliers for example if you are having raw uh, restaurants and you are having a family restaurant and you are having many supplier for meat rice and vegetables so if, if one of them give you low quality product and not good price you can swap and change and move to another supplier but imagine if you are having just one supplier for your rice you don't have anyone else so it definitely is is a type of like monopoly you are dependent on him or her or on the same company so whatever he or the company provides to you you don't have options to go so if you are having many options many suppliers many companies then it's 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 good because you can swap that and move to another company you can move from one company to another so you can go and find out so Anemone looks at the power of industry supplier to see if it can gain a competitive advantage here for example if there are number of supplier in the industry the Anemone may attempt to play them off against one another in a, an effort to get a lower price so if you say Mr. Ahmad and Mr. O oh, if you can't give us in this price I can cancel the contract or I don't want to buy from you I move to another company you move to another supplier so that's another way or the company may move to elim eliminate the any trades from the supplier by acquiring one of them thus guaranteeing itself a ready source of input so if you are having more suppliers if you are entering into a market if you want to 
uh, start a business for example you are having business in Kabul you want to start it in Mazar Sharif then you see the suppliers do you have more suppliers you have less suppliers if the numbers are suppliers are more you can play them off and you can take that uh, cancel what but if you are having less supplier then it's uh, difficult for you to cancel or have any issue so so that's uh, regarding bargaining power of suppliers the next one is bargaining new entrants new entrants means uh, the company that they want to enter into the market so what will happen so if you are enter into the market and you are new in that market so what will happen when you are facing competition so rivalry the company will examine the likelihood of new firms entering the industry and will try to determine the impact they might have on the emini so if one a multinational enterprises they see if there another company enters into the market so what will happen two typical ways that international emini attempt to reduce the trade of new entrants uh, if you want to reduce the traits of new companies entering into the market one keeping cost low so you try your best to keep your operational cost different cost as low as possible in consumer loyalty high so you need to look after your consumers to look after your customers what they are doing what they are saying what they want so you need to look after their needs and expectation and encouraging the government to eliminate foreign businesses activity through regulations such as duties, tariff, quotas and other protective measures. But if you are operating in a market and maybe the government, you can ask the government to eliminate and put some more tariffs so they can compete the market and they can uh, prevent new companies to enter. For example, in Afghanistan many businesses are asking the government to put a high tax or high tariffs on imported goods. So, so these companies can survive inside Afghanistan or they can at least compete with foreign uh, companies or foreign new uh, arrivals. A uh, good example is let's say Kamir in Ariana. They both were complaining to the government that flight from uh, other companies like Fly Dubai, Turkish Airlines, Emirates, Air India, PIA and these were trying to have a flights to Afghanistan. Uh, Kamir in Ariana have complained that the the tax on local domestic companies should be less than foreign companies because it's very difficult for them to compete with such big companies because Emirates is a largest company so it's very difficult for Kamir to compete with them so that's why they were asking the government to put some more tax in tariffs so that at least they can compete so that's uh, uh, preventing new company new competitors to enter so you see the uh, traits of substitutes the Emini looks at the availability of substitutes, goods and services in ties to anticipate when such offering will reach the market. There are a number of steps the company can take to offset, offset substitutes is the availability of your uh, company, uh, products, another. If you are, they don't want your product, they go and find, buy from others. So that's substitute product to your company. So what you can do, you can lower your prices, offer similar product, try to compete and offer the same type of product in with a good quality increase service to the customers so if they are offering fridge and you are offering fridge as well so try to have free delivery try to have free for example repairs try to have free service try to have free installation so there are different things you can do so you can have uh, a competitive uh, position in the market or you are doing a better from your uh, competition or from your competitor. The next one is rivalry. The Emini examine the rivalry that exists between itself and the competition and seek to anticipate future changes in the arrangement. So it's a competition between you and your competitors. Rivalry that you are having uh, against each other. So common strategies for maintaining in or increasing market strength includes offering new goods and services. You can always try to have new products or service increase product productivity and thus reduce overall cost so you need to increase your productivity and reduce your cost so it's easy for you to compete with them in the market and working to differentiate current goods and service from those of the competitions so you are you always need to have a new uh, competitions and new strategies you need to differentiate your product increase overall quality of goods and services so always try to have a quality product or services for your customer so when you are operating in such competitive market so you, these are things which you need to do because if you don't do this you fail because your competition competitors might follow these steps 
and they might have a new idea or whatever it will be difficult for you and target a specific niche with a well-designed market strategy so you can target uh, niche market so that's five forces uh, strategy which you can see so these are trait of substitute entry let me uh, review all the so what is the strategic planning the process of evaluating enterprise environment it's internal strategic formulation you form external environment you do information gathering and in information assessment what's going on in external market how will this develop our effect in our company information gathering then information assessment bargaining power of supplier how many suppliers do you have new entrants traits of substitutes in rivalry so that's all for uh, today because I've covered it, most of the these notes which you have studied or you will study that so so why I'm not trying to uh, uh, sometime I'm just record video for 20 21 minutes because when I see that students are not watching the videos which are 30 40 minutes so uh, I just want to don't talk a lot and just cover up uh, everything in short so you can at least understand something